welcome to Sing and Cook. My name is Chef Arpal and you're watching me cook grilled prawns along with an exotic kiwi chutney. Fantastic, I tell you. The prawns and the tangy kiwi chutney, what a combination. Superb. And to begin with, what you need to do is take prawns and slit them wide open. That's what is important. So for the prawns, slit them wide open like this completely open there you have all the prawns wide open nicely now for this i will need to make a marinade together with garlic kiwis and a lot of other stuff but first and put this prawns back in a plate now the next step i need to make a marinade for the prawns for this a small blender some garlic six to seven cloves of garlic, one kiwi fruit, peeled and put into this black pepper. This is what I'm putting now, about half a teaspoon of black pepper, some oregano on this. Imagine what a combination. For the chutney, I'll use Indian spices and for the marinade, I'm using some Western spice. Great combination. And here, some olive oil into this, two tablespoons, grind this up. Super. Wow, look at this. Smells of garlic and olive oil. All this into a bowl. Now to this, lemon juice. Juice of one lime. Little bit of salt goes in there. Marinate this well. If you want, still pour some olive oil. Because this has become nice and homogeneous. The olive oil is all almost gone. Some more olive oil in here. Super, super. Now this, all the prawns slide into this lovely piece of marinade. Now, the prawns are ready. They should be kept aside for nearly half an hour for the whole marinade to become superb, okay? The prawns need to absorb the marinade. Next step. Next step is make a beautiful chutney. I want a nice chunky chutney. Now here, for the chutney, I'm going to use normal oil, one tablespoon. To this, add one teaspoon of chopped ginger, some kalonji, onion seeds. Ginger, onion seeds. Let them get cooked. In the meanwhile, I've got some kiwis in here. Okay, now these kiwis are roasted. Now what you need to do is take the kiwis, put it on a wire mesh, on a gas flame and roast them. Now they become nice and sour because for any kind of seafood, anything which is tangy, which is acidic, goes very well with the seafood. Hence, I've roasted it. If you were to use it directly, it would be sweeter. Hence, this one is roasted on a flame and once it becomes nice and soft, you peel the skin off. This is what it looks like. You smell it. It's absolutely acidic. You get a fantastic smell. So that's what I've done with the kiwis here. Now, quickly chop these kiwis roughly. You know, I don't want a smooth paste. I don't want a nice chunk. Rough is good enough. Let's do this up quickly. The inner stem, which becomes tough, needs to go. Now, need to have an eye here to this. Let me add sugar and some amount of water into this. This is getting good. I'll add the pulp to this mixture. Now here, you do whatever. Because you have roasted the kiwis, even if you cook in a little bit of sugar syrup as I have done, they will still remain sour. So you get a nice balance, little sweetness you get from the sugar syrup because it's a chutney. So it needs to have some kind of sugar and this is also a sweet and sour chutney. Not that all chutneys in India don't generally taste sweet. Let the chutney get cooked here. Let it get nice and thick. This should take about three to four minutes. The chutney is now nice and thick. All the other ingredients that are supposed to go in, black salt, salt 
to taste balance the sweetness require the salt also some red chili flakes there yeah. color get a beautiful color that's what is required some roasted cumin powder jeera powder all this into the chutney now actually the definition of a chutney is now complete with all the ingredients going in makes it sweet and sour you know nice sweet and sour chutney and it's nice and thick so at this point of time i'm going to remove it nice chutney and that's what my chutney is all about sweet and sour and here i have a pot of pan the prawns have been sitting in the marinade for some time now pour some oil let the oil heat up and we'll grill the prawns so while the oil is getting hot got a plate in here little bit of garnish and simple kiwi fruit i tell you to garnish is absolutely fantastic and if you can do this which we all hoteliers do it when the fruit is available in season superb it looks superb just one piece of fruit if it is placed in the center of a plate or on a pastry definitely you know brings in that delight superb now oof look at this garnish is ready simple eh nothing much to do in here very simple what you need to do is when you place the prawns you need to place them oh you need to style them you need to work out a bit super wow look at the prawns super isn't it just a small little thought that if you can hold the tail like what i have done here like this it look very good now just turn it around prawns get cooked very fast and especially when you've done the butterfly cut the butterfly cut is when you open the prawns completely up spread it into two and it gets cooked very fast because that helps in grilling actually you know you don't overcook the prawns and you like the prawns to be nice and juicy so keep turning them around so that the prawns get cooked all through and all over that's very important that little bit of the marinade all over before i remove the prawns prawns are almost done i need to make them look nice and juicy ah super so this is done what you need to do is take out the prawns there oh super man just hold them and place them from the outer circle got a great piece of grilled prawns just need to clean up the plate so that now it looks good there you have super super prawns all over and take this chutney all you need is pour little bit of chutney all around the sides get a nice sweet and sour flavor fantastic smelling good grilled prawns with burnt kiwi chutney is absolutely divine you don't need anything just go ahead and take a piece of prawns dip it in the chutney and enjoy your evening any time